June 6th, 1966, a senator's wife had a child. Six years later, everyone around the boy started to die mysteriously. A detective was called to investigate the incidents. Slowly but surely, the curious case started to consume him. The deaths were surrounded with the paranormal and entangled with the supernatural. All the man could come up with was Senator Charles Wagner as the prime suspect, and only after witnessing him shooting his wife with a nail gun. In the end, only thing he pulled out from that burning Dante Manor was the child. My name is Detective McGuffin, and I was the guy sent to investigate them. The boy's name is Lucius. Hello, guys. Have you missed me? I've been a good little boy while you were away. <laughs> so, guys, here we are again in Lucius. If you guys remember, I played Lucius 1 a couple years ago when it came out. Got really into it. I don't normally role play, so to speak, when I do an LP. But uh, something about this character just makes you want to say you've been a good little boy, you know? <laughs> so, Lucius is Spawn of Satan. In the first game, we killed our entire family. Murdered him good. Murdered him real good. Made him pay. And now we're back for a little bit more murder. I missed! I'm so sorry, father! Okay, it's gone now. I threw it into the fire. Here, I'll just... Object is too far. Yeah, it sure is. Well, I threw the fucking bottle over here. Oh, there it is. Good. I can still get it. It's perfectly fine. Oh, God damn it. Listen, I'm only five years old, okay? I may have the power of Satan compel me, but... Fuck, I, my aim is bad. Looks like it hit it, right? Totally hit it! Bam! The breakable items can be broken with the tool, including items marked sturdy. Shit. 
treasure can break by throwing this would be epic. Yeah, Sakes. Okay, this whole aiming thing. There we go, I broke it. There are three different types of liquids available. Conductive, flammable, and slippery. Water. Conducts current and can be used to transport electricity by using water to activate the switch. God damn. Can I gotta like fill this up? Okay, it's already full. It's fancy. Okay. I wanna pour you. God, this seems dangerous as fuck. What happens if I step in it? I ain't phased. Die if electrocuted. Flammable objects will burst into flames. Even the devils. Oh! Oh god! Okay. Experience will give you skill points. Pick up the level up. Oh man! I'm a big boy now! Talent trees and shit. Man, mind control is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't have the. I, I have to pick this. Man, I really like this. What are you using the skill in an object? Fear. Okay. It's tiny now. Go away now. Some items. Hey, so it's So tag compelling, no, which means the enemies would get interested by them and pick them up and try throwing the donuts in the I don't know what happened to the donuts, man. I lost them. Are they back over here? Oh, they are. Hit you in the face with some fucking donuts. Put these in your mouth, asshole. Okay. Oh, watch out! Donuts! I must be losing my mind. Why? Because there's donuts hitting you in the face? Oh, you should put them in your in your mouth. They're delicious. Howdy there, little mister. Are you alright, son? I'm doing fine. Things he picks up will end up in his inventory, but he will first try them out accordingly. Try poison the dolls to get in the back. Okay. I just have boxes of donuts now. Box are the poison donuts in my hand? No. Oh, there they are. Okay. Well. Jack, how's it going? Want some poison fucking donuts? Watch out, they hit you in the face again! Oh, probably should eat them. Where are your parents? Mm. Oh, oh, are you feeling okay, Jack? Oh, Jack, you disappeared! Alright, tutorial complete. The whole house burned down to the ground. And we couldn't save them all. I managed to get the boy out. And at that time, I was convinced it was his father, Charles who was behind the murders. In these situations, the procedure was to take the boy to psychiatric evaluation, so I headed to St. Benedict's Hospital, the very same hospital he was born in. 
it was only fitting to visit it once more. He was sitting quietly in the back seat, staring at me through the mirror. When we arrived just before the nurses came to get him, he leaned forward and whispered something into my ear. The hair on the back of my neck stood up as I was overwhelmed with emotion. The whispers kept running through my head that this was no ordinary kid at all. As I returned to my apartment, I started to put the pieces together. They were all pointing at the boy. How could I not see this before? Was Charles right all along? Was I actually helping the devil's son? Yes, you finally understand your place in all this. You're him, aren't you? Come now. You have been able to sense it all along. Deep inside you, there's been something telling you to do the right thing. But I'm... I'm Catholic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so am I. We are all just part of his plans. My job is to make things slightly more interesting. And me? I'm also just a part of the plans. You have done what you are supposed to do, and you are going to do a lot more. We are only getting started here. And look at it this way. You are just serving the Lord in the end. He is the one who actually devised the upcoming rapture. I'm just putting my little twist on the whole thing. We are all just fulfilling his wishes here. So, just relax and listen to what I have come up with for the boy now. <laughs> I was conflicted. But eventually I had to give in. All along I've been a servant to the cause. I was meant to travel this world as a servant of Lucifer. Oh, is he? Whoa. To protect his son. Oh, god damn. Lucifer had a plan that would bring everything together. And it was my job to see after Lucius. He'll have to look for the answers to this little game that's been created for him. The Dark Lord has taken his powers away and leveled the playing field. It will not be an easy task for the boy. But it's all necessary sacrifice that will, in the end, pan out the way it was supposed to. They evaluated the boy and committed him. He had lost his abilities to influence anyone. Thoughts of abandonment were filling his head. His thirst for blood was gone along with the rewards he'd already been given. It took six months until the boy was woken again. No blood was spilled. Someone up there was happy. It finally happened when they brought two new patients in. They were both rambling about a prophecy and to make things more interesting. The other one was a woman of the cloth. Immediately, Lucius realized that there was more that he had to do, so in the blink of an eye, he attacked the man. There was a fire inside him again. He was not forsaken. He felt useful again. However, the employees managed to put him down. He was drugged, dragged to shock therapy. The boy had gathered a following throughout the hospital. Some of the patients naturally looked after the boy, but not these employees. They shackled him, imprisoned the prince. They laid him down on the bed ready to be shocked. But what they did not know, and what they could not guess, is the answer to a question. What happens when you shock the devil's son?
as it was written, as it was told in the prophecy, I'm going to murder these motherfuckers. Ah. Feeling good. Nice and awake. I think we should turn this on a little. Hey, buddy. You seeing any better? I could modify this somehow. I don't know how. Hmm. A shock rod. What if I could attach this to that somehow? Because I'm going to need to leave here. What kind of pills did I get? I still have these donuts straight from hell. Can be lethal if overdosed. How does one get out of a locked room like this? Wish my dad was here to help. This guy did not have a very good day. His day started off very poorly. Or maybe it started off just fine. It ended very poorly. Um, guess I cannot throw that. Yeah, it's too attached. Okay. That didn't do me any good. I guess I could just eat some fucking poison donuts and call it good, right? Um, Alright, so this is electrified here. Let's put this away. Can't do anything with it there. Guy's hands just staying here on the ground. Or right, this is not the ground. Uh, there's nothing under the table here. I need out. You're gonna have to let me out, motherfuckers. How can I get out? Electric roof plate. This blood seems like it would be a good conductor. I should pull this out. Using it doesn't appear to do any good. He's not a jumping boy. I forgot about that. I'm all barefoot. Just trouncing around his blood. Okay. I, I holstered that in my pocket. This should be used for giving electric shocks. Two are needed. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Look, he had keys. Convenient. I feel like I should be leaving behind bloody, bloody footprints. Oh, hey, look at that. A daddy bobblehead. <laughs> Let's unlock it. Let's unlock all the doors. Don't I have keys? Oh. Try turning it without touching it.
Bam! Get turned on. all the crazy fuckers out. Oh, I want to let you out so bad. Okay, I need to break out. I don't want to open that because I don't want him to see me. Just in the coffee that you faucet. Break the ceiling fan. <laughs> know what this guy's doing. like you had a little bit too much toast with your coffee this morning. Can I let you out, sir? No, I guess I cannot. Oh, I brought you a friend, though. I'll let go of him now. You can sit here, friend. Keep the crazy man company. This would allow Lucius to freely roam around, wreaking havoc. You're free now. Come on out, sir. You're free. Run. Be insane. We'll be insane together. The jacket he had on with all the blood on it would attract way too much attention. Luckily, his old suit is still there. The time had come once again to put it on. I guess I put it on already. Oh yeah, look at me. Feeling dapper. Dressed up and ready to murder. Hey 
guys look like you're having a good time out here. Pretty fucking awesome. Let's see, okay. That guy's a problem. I wonder. Oops. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wonder how much of a problem he'll be if I hit him in the face with one of these. supposed to hit this man with this thing, but I really want to. Oh, damn it! I had it on him! I need more pliers, I bet. Fuck, I missed. That would totally kill that man. I know it will. Damn it. Come on, dude. You got this. Let go. Let go. Let go. Bam! Oh, sir. You appear to have been hit in the face with a giant thing. Sir, you've dropped your keys. I will take them for you. Don't worry. Don't you worry at all. Oh, look, I flushed the toilet. And I've gotten a thing that I can't reach to pick up. I'll stand on you, sir. Um, here, come here. I need to. I need a boost. Don't. Don't. Um, could you? There you go. Just stand there. There you go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I still can't pick it up, though. Oh, it's because I'm full on health. I don't need that. I still want to thank you, sir, for... Ooh. What happened to this young man? Maybe he should have spent some time talking to my father. The boy found him. His father was open. On the floor, there was a note that said... Forgive me, for I have chosen wrong. What did it mean? Chosen the wrong God? Or the wrong son? Woo. Whoa, buddy. Oh, 
Can't take him with me. More things I can electrocute and stuff. Ah, uh, more employees. Ah, yes. More people to murder. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. You all must be murdered with time. With time. I see. Well, gentlemen, I will save your murder. For the next appropriate and he time. he told me that I was the problem. <sighs> Women. Can't live with them. Can't kill them. <laughs> but I will be killing hey. you. Hey, why is the space between a woman's breasts and her hips called a waist? Um... <laughs> because you could easily fit another pair of tits in there. <laughs> they will burn. <laughs> 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 a good 